Hey, it's Paul Ingram with Collie Center. Today we're gonna to be covering some basic single sticks. We're gonna be working on some fluid strikes, which are strikes that go all the way through the center line, with some broken strikes that hit to the center and then retract. Now, other styles of Collie Escrima Arnis may call a fluid strike a loptic and a broken strike a wittic. So if you're more familiar with those terms, we're basically doing those strikes. Right, a loptic and a wittic, or a fluid and a broken. I got three combinations for you, so hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to the Collie Center channel if you are not already. Maybe you're a new viewer here. We got a lot of new viewers that are uh, finding us right now, so make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, turn on post notifications, grab your Collie stick, and let's get to these drills. Drill number one. We're gonna be starting from our chamber position. We're gonna strike a broken angle one, followed by a fluid angle one, and then an angle two. So we're gonna strike a broken, and then strike on the X. So broken strike, fluid, and a fluid. Nice and simple. All of these are gonna be three strike combinations, because again, I wanna make sure that these are kinda of geared towards beginners, because I have noticed that we do have new viewers here on the channel, and uh, it's good to work the fundamentals like this. And you can strike in the air like this. If you have a heavy bag, tires, anything that you can hit, feel free to do some impact training with these drills as well. Now, you can change up that last strike if you like to experiment with the different angles. Go ahead and strike that backhand horizontal right there. Mix it up a little bit. So you can strike down the diagonal or on the horizontal. Drill number two, we're gonna change up the order of the energies. We're gonna put the broken strike in the middle of the drill this time. So we're gonna strike down our fluid angle one, then our broken angle two, and follow it up with a fluid angle two. So we got two angle twos back to back. So fluid one, broken two, fluid two, right there. One, two, three, nice and easy. You know, sometimes these simple combinations, these are the high percentage combinations when you're sparring or if you ever needed to use your uh, weaponry in like a real self-defense type of situation. Keeping it simple like this, learning your basic combinations, these are your high percentage tactics right here. Now, just like the previous drill, if you want, you can go ahead and change that last strike. Fluid, broken, horizontal. Just kinda make sure that we're working on control of that weapon by changing the angle. So there's that two and horizontal. Two, horizontal. Two, horizontal. Drill number three, last one for this little mini fluid broken series, is we're gonna change the angles by using the ascending strikes of the angle three and the angle four. So we're gonna come up on the angle three, which is that upward forehand diagonal. Then we're gonna go into a broken angle four, which is the backhand ascending diagonal, chamber it up, and then strike an angle two. So we're mixing it up a little bit using some different angles. So let's take a look at that again. We're coming up the angle three. There's that fluid strike a broken angle four, and then down the angle two. So three, broken four, angle two. Three, four, two. Now again, you can change that last technique from an angle two to the backhand horizontal right there as well. So feel free to play around with that. And that's gonna bring that three around a little bit different. It's gonna feel different. It's gonna change that coordination up quite a bit. It's almost gonna feel more like you're scooping it. Or you can come back to your one chamber and then go into that uppercut slash 
on that angle three as well. So a couple different ways that you can play this one out. Explore it and have some fun. Now what I like to do when I'm working these types of individual kind of coordination drills is I like to just set the timer for like a two, three minute round per drill. You know, maybe take like 30 seconds or 60 second rest in between each drill so you can kind of, you know, regain, center your mind, ground your mind, and then move on to the next one. And just cycle it through like a workout. Then another thing I like to do is after I've worked the drills individually, I like to get a round of Carenza in, which is basically like solitary free flow. It's like shadow boxing with a weapon. But I'm just gonna stay in the limits of these three drills as best as I can. Now if you come out of those drills a little bit here and there, that's fine. You wanna explore your collie, explore the different strikes and techniques, tactics that you know that you've been working on, but we're using these three drills more as our framework for our Carenza as we're ending the workout. So we're gonna go ahead and close the video out. I'm just gonna flow around with these drills, just doing some Carenza, some freelance. I'll kinda of try to do like a widescreen shot. I'm gonna move around, use some footwork, have some fun, and just explore these specific movements and these specific drills. So thanks so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a positive comment below that you know, I'd like to respond to. I always like to respond to the positive comments. Or if you have any questions, also leave those down below as well. And if you're new to the channel here and you're not subscribed yet, just really quick, just go pop, tap that subscribe button real fast. And then that, that little bell that pops up right next to it as well. If you want to join my online school and train with me further and take your collie skills to a whole nother level, head over to colliecenter.com. Go check out our online school. We might have a pretty good special going on right now that you may not want to miss. All right, let's get to the Carenza. Let's close it out. I'll see you back here next time.